Welcome home. Ever made a mistake that cost you an exclusive listing? As my brilliant boss, Howard Thorber, always says, it's okay to make a mistake once, as long as it's not twice. My name is Margola, and I am having a blast selling Brooklyn one brownstone at a time. If you are curious about the ins, outs, and abouts of the Brooklyn brownstone market, smash the subscribe button below. I lost a listing, a beautiful turnkey President Street listing. It was literally too good to be true. Seller emailed me out of the blue, never interacted with him. Don't remember prospecting, door knocking, or follow up as his number is not in my phone. But nonetheless, he emailed me asking to meet. We vibe. He claimed how much he wants to go with me, but just couldn't sign the listing agreement till he discussed with his wife. As I am overly cautious with safety in this business, I try never to enter a stranger's home alone, at least not at the first meeting. I brought a couple of my agents. That was not the mistake. My lesson learned as North California real estate rock star Andy T advised, always instruct your agents to stay silent during a listing appointment unless he looks at their face and asks an opinion. Wow. Lesson learned number two, give them. Give the sellers the aspirational price they want to hear. I lowballed and it ricocheted right back in my face. My community members are always bashing me for raising the prices in the neighborhood. Little do they know how far from reality that is. Sellers are super savvy and know how tight inventory is, thus demanding aspirational prices. And guess what, guys? They get it every single time.